Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is a very nice MacBook Pro. Just get it out for you. It's this one we have here. This is the A2141 MacBook Pro. This is the 16 inch model. Uh, we don't really want to open it right now because um, as you do know, if you open these MacBooks, a lot of them do turn on. Uh, this one does have a liquid spill. So we want to actually make sure that we take a look at it first. It's nice, it's big, 16-inch uh, model, still the high-end model, um, even though they are switching more to the M1. Uh, this one still does have an Intel chip, so it does have one of those in it, but it's still uh, pretty expensive, very nice laptop, 16-inch um, screen. Uh, we, we brought it in because there's liquid spill. So let's go ahead and just check out what the issue is. All right, so what we want to do is just uh, remove the bottom cover of it. We don't want to flip it open, turn on, because that would uh, essentially turn it on. Uh, we don't want to do that because there's liquid spill. Anytime there's liquid spill, you want to make sure that you leave it off during the whole process. You always could just be making things worse. It's always good if there's liquid spill. We want to inspect it first and then worry about trying to power it on after we do repair. So let's just open it up. We're going to take off the back cover. And of course, once you get the back cover off, now what you want to do is just uh, take out the battery connection. It's just one cable there. No problem. From here, what we want to do is just do a quick inspection of the board. Uh, we did see that it was on. Or we did see that it did turn on, so just <laughs> just ignore that for now. So it looks like there it is on. It's, it's getting at least power, um, but we want to make sure that uh, there's no other issue. So we want to make sure we do turn off. For what the customer said is it does turn on. You can hear the chime, but there is actually no display. So what we want to do is we want to focus mainly on that issue: is that there is no display. So especially for liquid spill, you want to make sure that we see. Uh, we check out the board and see if there's any particular issues. We didn't notice anything really on the top side of the actual board itself, but we did notice something on the LCD connection. A good indication for liquid spill is just to see if there's anything that's been impacted by liquid spill, right? So if you see a stain on top of a connection, or if you see a stain on the back cover, usually that's a good uh, indication where liquid spill can be. Sometimes a little bit harder to spot, you might need a microscope. Like there could be, the drops could be so small that you can't actually see it, so you might need a microscope. In this case, we do see that there is um, there is liquid that's on top of the LCD connection. This one is really, really worrisome because the LCD on this model is very expensive, especially it's a 16 inch, it's a newer one. They don't make them a whole lot available. So we wanna really see if we can avoid um, a potential screen issue. And we just really hope it's not impacted too much. So when we do uncover here, the, the casing, we did notice that there is liquid damage that's actually to the, the cable itself and as well as the cable to the LCD. The cable that goes from the board to the LCD isn't too much of a big deal. If we're not able to repair it, they're easily replaceable. You can also check that out in our store. We have all that in a link in our description. Um, for these models, they're, very, they're pretty straightforward. There's usually just a very small cable that goes between the board and the major LCD. What we're worried about now is we see that there is damage to the LCD connection itself. And as we look under the microscope, we can really see it here a lot better. And we can see that there is a bit of a burn and you can see some of the pins have been impacted. Uh, it looks like it's probably red wine. Uh, we hope it's not the other thing, man. We don't want it to be anything like that, you know? It looks like maybe it's just red wine. We'll just go with that for this video. So as we're running our diagnosis, we do see that, that this is the major issue here. And we can clearly see that there is an issue for the LCD connection to the LCD itself, as well as the LCD cable that goes um, from the motherboard to connect the LCD. We need to see if there's a way to fix it. We really want to avoid getting a replacement one for this, because the worst case scenario would be to replace the whole screen and just get a little cable for that connection. Um, that's very expensive going that route. Um, but as of right now, we want to make sure that the customer at least is aware of this and they want to go through with the repair. But always want to stop here because we don't want to work on something until we get authorization from the client themselves and we want to see. So if they do authorize it, go ahead and stay tuned. We'll definitely make a, a video about doing the repair for this one because it would be actually pretty cool to really see. Um, otherwise, we just need to really wait for the authorization. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching and just to see how our diagnosis process works. And it's a good way to always check everything that you possibly can as a business too we want to take it in our own hands and we want to make sure that we educate the customer on what's wrong with it especially if you get liquid uh, you c if you have no display with the liquid it can be impacting as well there's lots of stuff that can impact um, um, the display it could be a backlight driver sometimes if you put a flashlight up to it you might actually see that there is an image but the backlight is actually shot on the laptop because of the liquid damage it could fry the, the backlight fuse because the power is from the board to the lcd 
But um, always liquid's always tricky because it could be a lot of other issues. So especially when you turn on, you can get other issues. There's Wi-Fi, um, keyboard problems, battery issues, anything like that. Uh, this one's a little bit more straightforward as we can see the issue and it still kind of is powering on. So we do lots of liquid spills. We also do data recoveries. We have a PC3000. We do lots of great things, with, especially with Macs, if you're interested in that. And um, also data recoveries as well. Go ahead and check out our store. We do have everything located in the link in the description, especially for contact information, anything else like that. If you really did enjoy the video, hit that like. It really does help us. And subscribe. We're almost at 5,000. So we really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Have a nice day.